Okay, guys, uh, now that we know about uh, chartering, now we'll be looking into lay time calculations, which is part of a chartering. Now, what is lay time? The lay time, this is a period uh, whereby the ship is loading and unloading. So this is a port time. So one good lecture of mine taught me something that the ship is not making money while she's in port, but she's making money when she's steaming at sea. So that's when the ship is making money. So what does that tell us? It tells us that the ship needs to be at sea as quick as possible. So spend less time in port and more time at sea. Now, we have terms that we need to learn. Now that we've learned chartering at grade 11, now in grade 12, we'll be learning about a demurrage. What is demurrage? And also we'll be learning about dispatch. Let's start with demurrage. Demurrage is paid by the charter to the owner when he spend more time loading in port. So if you spend more time loading in port, you get to pay damage to the ship owner. And what is dispatch? Dispatch is paid by the ship owner, motivating the charter. Say, thank you for spending less time in port. Now we are at sea. All right. Now, the rate will be agreed between the ship owner and the charterer stipulated in the charter party document. Now, we'll be looking into example. Now that your ship is loading and your agreed lay time is 27 hours, so your ship spend 25 hours in port, so maybe the agreed lay time was 27 hours, but you spend 25 hours. And the rate of lay time is 2,000 per hour. We'll be working that out in our board so that you can see how much the charter made or a ship owner made during that charter. Now, agreed lay time is 27 hours, but the charter only took 25 hours and the agreed rate for loading is 2000 US dollars 2000 US dollars per hour now what is payable here what is payable is dispatch because the charterer took less than the agreed lay time. So dispatch is payable. Dispatch is payable. Then who pays dispatch? Ship owner. These are the question set that you will find in your question paper. Ship owner is the one who pay dispatch paying to the charterer. Now, how much is he going to pay charterer? Now, you find the difference between the lay time and the hours that were spent in port, which is two hours. I don't know if you guys find two hours as well. So two hours times the amount of money per hour that you spend in ports times 2,000 US dollars. And that gives me 4,000, 4,000 US dollars. So the charterer gets to get this amount of money. Right, this is a, a basic example. Obviously there are more examples which are going in depth, understanding the loading of cargo. How, how did you get into these 25 hours? So we'll be calculating that. And also the factors that are affecting dispatch and demurrage. Right. Now, before we continue, 
we need to look into effectors that affect dispatch and demerge because now we're going to a more broader calculations right now the factors that affect dispatch and demerge as if in Durban there's a strike in Durban you are loading a cement and there's a heavy rain in Durban we are restricted from entering the port or the, the loading and discharging has been suspended due to some reason of a port or transnet. So in that particular case, you need to log it down on your official record book and saying that we could not load the cargo or discharge cargo during this time and that would not affect your dispatch and demerge. So it will not affect your lay time. So it's still covered. So now we're going to a broader calculations. Now that you understand what will, what will if affect the damage and dispatch. And this calculation, we have a bow carrier, five hole bow carrier, which is called Katarina G. Hole number one. Hole number two, hole number three, hole number four, and then hole number five. Distribution of cargo, the 6,850 tons of wheat. And then hole number two, 800, 650 as well. 8,650 tons of wheat. So you're actually loading wheat. And then hold number three, you have 8,750, 750 tons of wheat. That is the, this is the distribution of cargo. Hold number four, 8,700 tons of wheat. And then hole number five, you have 8,250 tons of wheat. Now, we'll go to the question set. You need to know, note this. It is written on your question paper. She has five cranes that are working simultaneously, discharging this ship in Walvis Bay. Each crane could discharge on an average of 50 tons of wheat per hour. Breaks are total into eight hours for the period of discharging. Question number one. Which hold will determine the length of time the discharging operation will take? So we look into the hold from hold number one until hold number five. And then we'll see which hold will determine the length of the pot. So we're looking to a bigger number in this hold. Which one is a bigger number here? <coughs> hold number three, which is 8,750 tons of wheat. So that is the one that's going to determine the length because they are working simultaneously. So the last one that will end will be the hole number three. Next question will be, how many hours will it take to discharge this cargo? Now that we've chose hole number three, that's, it's the one that's gonna take longer. So we go straight into it because they are working simultaneously. How? How much cargo do we have there? 8,750 tons. And we divide by the amount that will be worked in an hour, which is 50 tons. Divide by 50 tons. And then we calculate it. Right. This is the total cargo. 
And like we said in a previous question, it's the one that's going to determine the land. So obviously, if we are working simultaneously, we will use that to see how long your cargo work will take. Oh, give us 175 hours. Right, let's continue. The agreed lay time is 180 hours. Your, the agreement between the charterer and the ship owner was that the charterer can take 180 hours loading that wheat. He took 175 hours. So now the question is, the, the discharge took longer or less? So now you'll, if your answer is incorrect, that's where you will see. So the discharge took longer or less? In this instance, it took less. Now, what is payable? Is it demurrage or dispatch? It is dispatch. And the reason for that, just to test if you still remember, it's because the dispatch is payable by the ship owner if the charterer took less time loading or discharging the cargo.